Spartan 117 GW, we are here at Parallax Tactical in sunny San Diego, right next to Airsoft Extreme, by the way, which is pretty awesome. And uh, we got Joseph Chen here, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his company. Sure. Uh, we started in 2009 in uh, the Bay Area, and then we moved down here to San Diego uh, when I transferred to uh, UCSD. And uh, we primarily make AR-15 accessories, and we've been uh, doing that for about five years now. And uh, we recently have come out with our Air 15 forearms, which have uh, been very, very popular. And uh, we're excited to partner with uh, Airsoft Extreme to bring uh, these to the Airsoft market. Oh, cool, cool. So uh, can you tell us about some of the different uh, rails that you guys make? Sure. Uh, we primarily make two different types of rails. Uh, we make the FFNSR 13, uh, which is uh, this sort of style. And then we also make one in 15, and then we're also coming out with one in, uh, in 17. Oh, wow. Um, we also have another model which is the 11.5. Uh, oh, it's a little bit shorter? Yeah, oh, it's yeah awesome. this is for uh, basic uh, mid-length or carbine style. And the other new one that we have is very popular is the key mods. And then that's what they look like. They're extremely lightweight. And so, they, uh, that's a 9 inch. I think so, a nine correct, inch. yeah, this is a 9.285. Um, <laughs> right around 10 inches. Yeah. Inch, yeah, and then uh, this is uh, probably one of our most popular ones, which is a 13.2. Oh, wow, yeah, I can see that. The perfect length on that, yeah. too. Um, another cool thing that we do is we do all of our Cerakote in house. Uh, so we have, you know, different color ones flat dark earth, uh, olive drab, uh, tungsten, like this, this, this guy right here. <laughs> the gray. <laughs> oh, yes, the gray. Yeah. Look at that. Cool. So, and then uh, I believe Airsoft Extreme is doing uh, a uh, complete rifle, mm -hmm. uh, the K KBA uh, M4C. They, yeah, they've been doing, they've been getting a lot of uh, custom requests for custom guns because of the rails. Uh, I know with KWAs, they have to get them re-threaded, but what's great, since you guys are right next door, they just come right next door and get it re-threaded right yeah. in there. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but yeah, they're able to get the guns fitting um, with all the different rails. And I think, yeah, basically the silver one is more or less like the, the finished rough cut, essentially, once it's, you know, everything's done before it gets the special coatings and everything. Correct, yeah. The the silver is uh, basically a, uh, a bead blast. Um, this is before anodize. And then um, anodize, obviously, is just, you know, type 3 mil spec hard anodize. Um, another cool thing is that all of the airsoft rails get sort of the same... Uh, treatment as the, uh, I guess, real steel ra ra rails. Um, so this is pretty much as uh, sort of authentic as you can get. You, can get. you know what? I, you know what I thought was awesome is that I saw um, AX post too. That's like made in the USA. <laughs> made in the USA. Yeah. Because uh, the uh, the rails that um, that are being sold at AX is like typically about 115, so it's really affordable too. Yeah. And you're gonna get you're gonna get that made in America quality, so that's definitely something to look forward to. But uh, that is part one. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for part two. Cool. Thanks. Hey guys, Spartan One One Seven GW here, and we're here at Parallax Tactical Part Two here in San Diego, and we have Joe Chen here. He's gonna tell us about how they make these amazing rails. Sure. So the rails come in as extrusion. Um, they come in, you know, 10, 25 foot lengths. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, no one wants a 25 foot rail. Yeah. <laughs> Unless there's a market for that, yes. then we can make it. Um, you know, so so we cut these down slightly larger than the final size, and then they get put into a machine, and they get uh, they get milled to the final size, and then we they put into another machine we have set up uh, just to do rails. And this th this this piece of uh, extrusion turns into you know, something like this in, in one go. In one go. Uh, there's, no setup in be there's no setups in between. It uh, minimizes operator error and uh, increases the, uh, the, the reliability. Yeah. Um, so, you know, obviously after they're finished, you know, they come in the raw, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're pretty sharp. Um, each rail gets about 15 minutes of hand finishing. So we have an actual operator, you know, deburring, mm -hmm. you know, getting all the, all the sharp edges off, Taking all the flashing. And they do the measurements too to make sure everything is to spec. Correct. Yeah. So um, every single rail obviously gets inspected uh, and measured in, 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 into tolerance, and then gets put into our, our QC system, and uh, just to make sure you know every every piece comes out. Definitely important, especially if you want your optic to hold zero and maintain zero. So why don't put it, it back on the, on the web? Exactly. Um, and then you know after after the uh, 
the hand finishing, they get uh, bead blasted in-house. Uh, we do a lot of our finishing operations in-house uh, just to keep keep as many operations in-house as possible. Uh, cut down costs. Hmm. Correct. It cuts cut, cut, cut down costs, but also increases process reliability. True. Um, you know, we, when we do everything in-house, we have a certain way that we do things, mm -hmm. and then that gets repeated over and over again. Um, you know, so after after the the finishing, they get they get be blasted, uh, and then if it's Cerakote, we'll do Cerakote in house also. So this is an example of uh, some of the Cerakote, Cerakote stuff that we do. Um, so our sister company is called uh, SD Cerakote or San Diego Cerakote. So we do that, um, and then you know obviously the Type Three stuff gets gets sent to our uh, an anodized shop, and then they do the really nice anodized for us. And then you have the laser engravings on there for the rails. Correct, yeah. So once they come back from Anodize, we actually do the laser uh, engraving in-house also. Oh, cool, cool. And from, pretty much from there, it goes on the rifle and it goes to the customer. Amazing, right? Correct. Indeed, indeed. Or if there's nothing to huh? <laughs> Yes. But uh, thank you guys for watching. That is part two. I'm James C. Burns, I play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.